নারী টি টোয়েন্টি বিশ্বকাপের উদ্বোধনের আগে আজ দশ অধিনায়ককে নিয়ে ক্যাপ্টেন্স ডে অনুষ্ঠিত হল সেখানে সাংবাদিকদের প্রশ্নের সরাসরি উত্তর জানিয়েছেন অধিনায়কেরা এক একে সকল অধিনায়করা জানান yeah i mean it's a, it's a great uh, you know great to have someone you can talk you can share your thoughts because uh, these tournaments are uh, you know very important for all the players but at the same time sometimes you feel lot of pressure because performance is something you know everyone here they want to go there and uh, you know do well for the team but sometimes you know when things are not going well you need someone you can go and talk i know family and uh, sports staff is always there but sometimes they are not traveling with you but having someone and going to that person talking and keeping you yourself in that uh, that space where you know you can feel relaxed and calm and yeah she uh, mukda ma'am is someone who is really helping us uh, from long time she is with us from so many years now and working on us and uh, at the same time you know whatever we are talking to her it's very personal and she is keeping with her i think that is something which is really helpful for um, any player and uh, i think it's great to have uh, uh, she is uh, with her Uh, first of all uh, i am excited as you know, everyone knows uh, but yes uh, our whole group is like uh, that group but uh, obviously uh, once you saw that the group is uh, really good so we have to perform according them so yes we will try our best and play the good cricket here uh, yes actually we were trying uh, some experiment in the warm up matches so yes uh, now our whole team is shape up so definitely we will try best there and uh, enjoy ourselves Um the secret was written down on a piece of paper from Meg and passed along to me so I can't give that to you. Um but oh look I think you look at our group um you look at the whole the whole tournament as a whole all, all um nine other teams here I room with a red hot um crack of of winning this World Cup. Our group obviously heavily um subcontinental um used to these sort of conditions. Um New Zealand have played pretty well in the subcontinent as well. You're welcome. Um So look it's going to be tough it's going to be hard work and we know that um but like I said our group's really motivated by um by that challenge um by the continual improvement and and trying to evolve ourselves so um we're really excited to to take that head on Actually uh we are coming with underdog tag all the time so we d- we don't have any pressure I don't want to take too much pressure on my shoulders and my teammates shoulders but we keep it simple and uh, yeah I have a very young team so we have few seniors as well so i hope we can continue our best performance in this com as well because we played really good cricket in last 16 months so yeah different form uh, different format and different conditions and we we have to start again fresh days so keep it simple one ball one time one game one time well uh, just a uh, inspiration to us because you know we know how happy we were when they won the game and how excited the whole country when they they bring the cup back to the home i think uh, yeah for us also uh, things will remain same we also want to just uh, you know go there and enjoy ourselves and uh, no pressure because you know uh, the more important is uh, enjoying yourself in this tournament and putting pressure on yourself because pressure is not going to help you at all but yeah that uh, uh, excitement uh, means a lot uh, for us and we uh, the, my message is very simple and very clear just go there and enjoy yourself because that is something which is going to help you a lot when you're playing um not really between players um but some of our coaching staff has overlapped in the past so i think there's been some chat between our coaches um but yeah we we didn't see them yeah i think windows for sure i uh, i think it's a really key part franchise cricket of the game now and i think all players they want the the balance of being able to play both and i think the the danger i guess is you you lose players from international cricket because of the opportunities in franchise cricket but i think if it's governed really well uh, and it's the plan is set out they can really thrive off each other and really push the women's game forward um so yeah i guess you don't you don't want international cricket to suffer i guess you want both to grow together so i think windows will, will be a really good idea and finding ways to keep the best players in international cricket um because you started to see a couple just um understandably go go off because the the pay disparity around the world is so big so you, you completely understand that and making sure that all all teams not just teams that are, are strongly supported by their boards like the the bigger richer countries i guess so making sure all the players are, are kind of looked after and um international cricket is is allowed to continue to have the best players in it alongside franchise cricket yeah it's obviously a huge challenge for a lot of the players that are semi professional or not professional at all trying to balance um training alongside um having jobs and stuff like that so i think 
um, when you've got a mix of players in the team as well, some that are semi-professional and some that aren't, it's, it's when do you train in the week? Do you still train in the evenings during the day and, and also getting teams together? But we've been really fortunate um, in Scotland. Um, quite a few, a few of the girls now are playing in, in the English domestic league. So um, we've been fortunate to have that kind of next door and, and be able to take advantage of that and, and give those players the opportunity to to be able to play cricket full time um, and give it a real crack. But yeah, everyone's really excited to be here and the family has supported for a long time. I'm pretty stressful with, with two two of us, but um, yeah, they, they're just big as, the biggest supporters wherever you go and I'm um, looking forward to, to being out here and, um, and cheering loudly. Well, uh, I think of uh, uh, pressure is something which is going to be there whenever you play, but uh, uh, when you're doing well, uh, you know what you're doing, but when things are not going uh, your way, it's very important, you know, keep talking to your player, keep telling them uh, how they can, you know, uh, take things from there. And I think at the same time, uh, we have a very good sporting sports staff. They are supporting us throughout, uh, you know, uh, uh, like how we are doing, no matter we are performing well or we are not. But I think uh, uh, keeping your player in good space, that is something which, uh, you know, always going to help your team. And uh, as a captain, I always, you know, go and talk to my player if whatever they need, try to, you know, make things available for them. And uh, at the same time, being friendly with them, knowing them, and, you know, how, uh, like, uh, how they want things, especially on the field, because uh, going too aggressive or going, you know, too friendly, I have to manage both the things. And I think that is something which is, you know, helping, uh, helping us a lot uh, 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 on the field. And uh, I just want to keep things very simple and, uh, you know, just give them all the freedoms whenever, you know, we are playing. I'm going to jump in there. Um, Fatima, this might be your first big decision to make at this T20 World Cup. Is this the end of the press conference now? Yes. Yes, it is. There we go. Thanks. So it wasn't me. It was Fatima Sana saying that. Apologies. Uh, we have run out of time. Um, please, though, if you do have more questions, uh, there's some fantastic media managers attached to all the, uh, the sides over this tournament. Rock up to the press conferences pre and post match as well. Uh, thank you to the press for, for turning out today. And most importantly, good luck to each and every team over the coming weeks. Uh, we look forward to seeing you all out there in the field. Thank you so much.